Take Lesson, Take Friends, Part 3 for Online Music Conducting. Today we're going to be talking about melding and musicality. Melding is not necessarily covered in the Michelle Willis, Willis Teton music tutorials. This is just something I learned at BYU that I think is super important. It's one of my favorite tools and techniques as I conduct. Basically, um, what melding is, is it's showing where the emphasis of the beat should be. What are the most important beats within the measure? Um, something that Rosalind Hall and Ronald Staley teach, um, who are conducting BYU, they say, are you a timekeeper or are you a phrase sculptor? And, you know, hopefully we want to be phrase sculptors and not just this pedantic one, two, three, four, keeping the beat, right? So my question is, how can you become a phrase sculptor? Well, the answer is, lies in the melding. Um, what melding does is you, like I said, emphasize the beats that are the most important, and then you de-emphasize the beats that are not as important. So oftentimes in measures, there's usually a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So with melding, you're gonna show that the one and the three beats will be more important. And you're going to make the two and the four less important. Um, the way I do it, the way I was taught, is that the less important beats are smaller and they're connected to the important beat. And so let me show you visually. Here we go. This dash will represent a meld needing a blend together. The commas indicate that there's no meld, okay? So this one, this little phrase, um, would be, where can I turn for peace? Um, this is how I think the syllabic emphasis and what's most important in the message should be coming through. Where can I turn for peace? Where is my, and then this one I would put a meld here. So let's, and I'll show you with my hands what that would look like. So I'm just kind of trying to show you visually what I mean. And now let me show you visually with my hands what I mean. Okay, so remember we're conducting, we have to do gesture preparation. So the beat before plus a breath. And here we go. So this is where can I turn for peace? And you know what? Hold on a second. I'm going to show you the timekeeper way first with no melding. And then see if you can see the nuances of melding. Okay? So here's no melding. Gesture preparation. Where can I turn for peace? Okay? Just one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's try melding. Watch me with this melt. Notice how the two is smaller, and then from three to four are kind of connected as well. Here we go. Gesture preparation. Take a breath in. Where can I turn for peace? Where is my voice, sorry. Um, but no, with the exception of turn for peace, that I gave each one had a beat, but on the half notes, like where, that, I did a little tick on two. I did strong for one, where, tick for two. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Does that make sense? So like my hand just shows where that two is and where the four is, but you're really seeing the movement in the one and in the three. That's essentially what melding is. You're putting the emphasis where it belongs. 
Um, so let's take Onward Christian Soldiers. Okay, so we get that nice, like, march-like beat in the beginning. Ah! Okay, so we have the comma indicates no bells. Onward Christian Soldiers. And there's a meld right there because you're not necessarily needing to beat all of those beats. Why are you doing a long note? Okay, well, let's try that again. Let's try Onward Christian Soldiers. Are you ready? Gesture of preparation on beat four with a breath. Onward Christian Soldiers marching as you so what I do is on the one, two, three, my hand is stationary. I'm not going four, because that's not important. Those beats aren't important. Just the one and then the four is important. So you need to indicate that. Four. I like get faster before I get to beat four. So kind of play around with that. See if you can find any other things on YouTube that explain melding. But that's the gist of it. You just need to figure out which beats are the most important and then show that with your hands and which ones are not very important. Do it small, okay? Two other things on this topic. Let's pretend you have a really long note at the end. Like, you know, an eternal long note. You know you've all conducting it at the, at the, at the end of a song. So I think last time when I conducted conducted state choir, there was like a note that was 12 beats long. So it was, you know, a whole new note for three measures. Well, do you really need to do one, two, three, four, one? No, especially if people are getting quieter. A lot of times it gets quiet, right? So this is where I also use melding. I go, I show where the beat one is, shoo, and then for beat or I just do it with my hands. Just need to like just a gentle touch. And then let's pretend the tenors are coming in at some point. You point to the tenors. One, two, three, and make that gesture a little bit bigger. I think the words at the very end of the song last time were, were ironically eternally. So it was like came in on beat two. Um, I don't want to say the penultimate measure because there's actually like four measures to the end, but right before the eternal lee it was Eternally. So you're seeing like it, that you're holding with the left hand, and you're seeing, you can see where the beats are, but because it's piano, you don't necessarily need to show where really big where the beats are. Just show with your hands, they'll get it. You'll figure it out. So there you go. Melting in a nutshell.